Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we're on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time, and then I'm writing a short devotional on each chapter and then sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Acts chapter 23. Our loyalties determine what we think about and how we conduct ourselves. What loyalties are influencing you? This very personal question jumped out of the story in Acts chapter 23 when Paul was on trial in the Sanhedrin, which is the Jewish court. Listen to Acts chapter 23, verses 6 to 10. Now, when Paul perceived that one part were Sadducees and the other Pharisees, he cried out in the council, Brothers, I am a Pharisee, a son of Pharisees. It is with respect to the hope and the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial. And when he said this, a dissension arose between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the assembly was divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, nor angel, nor spirit, but the Pharisees acknowledge them all. Then a great clamor arose, and some of the scribes of the Pharisees' party stood up and contented sharply. We find nothing wrong in this man. What if a spirit or an angel spoke to him? And when the dissension became violent, the tribune, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, commanded the soldiers to go down and take him away from among them by force and bring him into the barracks. Wow. Honestly, this kind of sounds like our Congress here in America. <laughs> Paul knew the true loyalties of these religious elites. And what he was doing was exposing them for who they were. <laughs> they had become political parties, more interested in defending their positions, their party's position of power, rather than humbly following God, seeking to know His will through prayer, through the discerning of His word. You see, the people of God at that time had trusted to their religious leaders, not just like today, where you trust uh, your pastors or your churches with religious affairs, but back in this time, the people had entrusted to their religious leaders their whole culture. It was a, a culture built upon the religion of the time. So these men that they had entrusted to were, were asked to govern with word and prayer but they had become political parties vying for power. Paul remained free of all of this. He had once been a part of it, but Jesus rescued him on the road to Damascus. The scales fell from his eyes and Jesus liberated him from this syncretism between the politics of the world and the cross of Jesus Christ. And Paul was at peace because of it. I choose to repent of any divided loyalties, any double-mindedness, and return to a wholehearted, single focus on my first love, Jesus Christ. Who or what are you choosing to focus your life? Because where you put your heart loyalties will determine what you think about, what you do, what you say. Seize the moment and check your loyalties. In Christ, only in Christ, Will you have peace and rest for your soul? Seize the moment.